Hey guys, in today's lesson video, I'm going to give you guys a really good drill that transformed my impact position from an early release scoop position to a forward shaftling position immediately after I tried this drill. This drill is something that I personally learned in my playing career because in my playing career, when I got lazy in the golf swing and when I got tired out on the golf course, my faults were to slide towards the target, lean back, and to early release and scoop at impact. But with this drill, I immediately got the feel of how to get into a forward shafting position at impact to really compress the golf ball and to have that penetrating ball flight that we all want. And the only thing that we need for this drill is a simple foam. Before I show you this drill, we have to talk a little bit about the early release scoop position and our wrist conditions at impact. So from the top of our backswing, once we come down and have an early release scoop, what we could realize and see is that my trail hand palm is going to face more towards the sky and the logo of the golf club is going to face more towards myself. Ideally what we want to do is from the top of the, of the backswing, we want my leaf form and the logo of the golf club to gradually rotate towards the target and, and at impact the logo of the golf club should face more towards the target and after impact, post impact, we can continue to arc it off and rotate and the logo of the golf club is going to face a little bit behind me and slightly towards the ground in this position right here. And this is called supination, where my lead forearm and my lead hand gradually rotates towards the target. So now let's get into the drill. Grab the phone in your lead hand and make sure the phone touches the inside part of your lead forearm and keep this pressure point throughout the whole drill. And from this position, we're gonna keep the pressure point and go to the top of the backswing. And from the top of the backswing, while keeping this pressure point throughout the whole drill, we're gonna rotate my lead form and my lead hand gradually from the top of the backswing all the way to my follow through position. In this position right here. This rotation piece is called supination. And if you're a golfer that early releases the scoops at impact, we need more of this supination piece into our release. So try this out and you'll immediately feel a new sensation in your hands and your arms on how to release the golf club. And once you get a good idea of what your lead hand feels like, what we could do is we could get our trail palm and place it on the phone as well and do the same drill with my trail hand on the phone and we could feel a really good new way to release the golf club and I guarantee you if you get this type of release into your golf swing we will get rid of your early release scoop motion in your first or second practice session and we'll get into more of a forward shaftling position at impact. So when I practice in between golf shots what I'll do is I'll grab my phone and do the same type of release rehearsal with my phone then I'll put the phone in my pocket and then I'll hit a lot of half swing three quarter swing punch shots with the same feel. It's going to look something like this. There's no reason to make a full swing at first because if you can't make a shorter golf swing and get into that forward shafting position, there's no reason to make a full swing. So let's make a little punch shot with the same type of release feel. And if we practice this way with a lot of punch shots with the phone drill release feel, I think that's the best way to get rid of your early release scoop position and to really get into a forward shafting position at impact. And a good tip and the last tip that I'll give you is, is that from the top of the backswing, let's gradually try to get the logo of the golf glove to point towards the target at impact, then I think that will really help you get into that forward shafting position. If you guys liked the lesson video, please like and subscribe to help my channel grow. I'll leave a little icon here below. And also, if you're interested in in-person or online lessons, or a free swing analyst, I'll leave all the information in the description below. Thanks guys.